Hello, this is Erica Quilly, and today we're going to make these origami star books. You will need six pieces of printer weight paper that is three inch square. You'll need two pieces of mat board that's inch and a half square. And you'll need two pieces of decorative paper, such as wrapping paper or paper that you've decorated yourself that's two inch square. You will need a glue stick, some sort of decorating coloring um, materials, a pair of scissors, and two pieces of ribbon that is four inches long each, and a bead large enough to thread both pieces of ribbon through. Let's begin with the cover of the book. You're going to need two pieces of one and a half inch by one and a half inch piece of paperboard. This is actually a piece of map board. Um, you could really use anything. Um, you, you want it to be heavier than, like, say, a poster board, but you could use um, a cereal box or something similar. Maybe a little bit heavier than that would be better. You just want something really stiff um, and rigid. You are also going to need a pair of scissors, a glue stick, and I just am using recycled wrapping paper, but any kind of decorative paper. It could even be paper that you've decorated yourself. Actually, that would be really special. Um, I have just wrapping paper, and then I've cut out of a piece of paper bag just a little um, square, and I wrote to and from because I would like to have this book as a um, tag for a present. So um, I'm going to glue this onto one of the covers um, after I get them together. So I'm going to just start with one of my mat boards, and I'm going to coat the center of it with glue. Um, just a glue stick is perfectly sufficient for this project. You don't need to have anything fancier than that. Um, and I am going to center this mat board onto my paper best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you just want it to be, you know, as close to the middle as you can get it to be. Um, flip it over, push it down, try your best to get all the wrinkles out of it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and snip all four corners off. And I'm going to snip them off at an angle. And it's really important to leave about a sixteenth of an inch um, of paper between the edge of the corner and where your cut goes. That's going to help make um, your fold really clean and neat. Cut these corners off. Come in here with a glue stick again. And I'm going to put glue on adjacent sides. And I'm going to take the paper and I'm going to push my thumb against it, push it down really tight and wrap it around as tight as I can. Now I'm going to take my fingernail and where I left that little space between the cut and the paperboard, I'm going to push down make it so it's folded down, almost like a present. That's going to help my corners stay really nice and neat and also keep the corners, uh, cover, um, corners of my paperboard nice and covered. So I'm going to come in here and put glue down on my last two sides, doing the same thing, starting with my thumb and pushing from the bottom over, getting that nice folded neatly and pressed down firmly. And there is my first cover. Little squirrel on it. And I'm going to set that aside to dry. Taking my next piece of paper board and again coating the outside of it with um, glue stick. Center this on my paper. And as you can see, my my wrapping paper is not. Oops, I threw it upside down is not actually um, cut perfectly square. And for, for this, it actually doesn't matter. It just needs to be about a quarter of an inch big all the way around your, your board. So about two inches by two inches, um, roughly. But you don't have to be exact for that measurement. And again, I'm going to go and snip all four corners, leaving a little space in between. sides from each other, wrapping that around as tight as I can get it, there we go, pushing those folds down, and 
doing another coat of glue on those last two sides. last piece. Now I'm going to go ahead and put glue onto my um, tag. Center it best I can. Push it down. So it's all sealed down. Now I'm going to set both of these pieces aside to let them dry. I think that'll be a pretty cute outside of the book. So um, next we'll move on to creating the center pages of our book. Now let's start making the inner pages of our book. We are going to need six pieces of paper cut into three by inch by three inch squares. This paper it needs to be um, printer weight paper or a drawing paper, anything kind of lightweight. You don't want cardstock or anything heavy like that. Something that's just sort of a normal printer paper weight. Um, and we are going to do what is called a mountain fold. And a mountain fold is an origami term. Not too hard. It's a pretty simple fold. I have drawn out some guidelines here to show you where my fold is just as a guide. And when we go to fold our interior six pages, our actual six pages, you don't need to draw, you don't want to draw these. Um, lines out. This is just for a visual for you um, on this example. So what we're going to do is hold the paper flat in front of you and you're going to fold it in half. And um, what is really important here is to try to line up these points so they're nice and, and um, lined up and then bring your fingers back and make a nice creased line. Get it nice and creased and then you're going to open it back up. You're going to turn it 90 degrees and you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to fold it over line those points up the best you can bring your finger down and give it a nice good push and crease that right over then open it right back up and now you should have two folds making an X or a cross in the middle of your paper the next step that we're going to do is we're going to turn the paper over and this time we're going to fold the paper along a diagonal and we're going to make a triangle shape and again it's really important to do the best that you can to line those points up these two points, the bottom and top points, should be lined up the best you can. Put your finger there and hold it and come down here and crease this paper right along the line here and make that third fold. Um, in this step, it is important to try your best to get things as lined up as you can. If things are a little bit off, um, I don't think you should worry about it too much. I'm sure it will still be fantastic, um, but the more accurate you can you can be, um, the more things will sort of line up and, and be a little bit easier to, to put together. So our next step that we're going to do is just pick up your paper, turn it onto the side that has um, your cross, turn that down so you're just seeing the diagonal um, line. And you're going to stick your finger right and sort of give a little poke to that middle where that cross is and you'll see um, the paper kind of pops up where those folds are. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take these diagonal fold, the points where the diagonal fold is, we're going to bring them together. So you're going to kind of push them together so that those meet and then just fold in. And this will be really easy to do because you already have these folds made. So it's going to naturally going to want to fold like this, but you're just pushing in. I'll do it again so you can see. You're pushing in these two points where that diagonal fold was and you're bringing them in so they touch and that's going to bring these two outside squares together. So it will end up looking like um, a, a, on one side you'll have the folded point where this, the center is all folded over and then on the bottom you'll have um, two squares on the outside, one on each side and then these two diagonal points that are coming in. And then once you have that folded you can move on and we need to do all six pieces the same way. I've completed folding my six pieces of paper. They're all identical now. Unfold them and see. 
And now I'm going to move into the decorating stage. Um, I have chosen today to use stamp system. I have a little bit of a sort of a more like ornate heart shaped stamp that I'm going to use. Um, at this point in the stage, it's really up to your creativity what you'd like to do. You can draw, you can write, you can use photographs, you can stamp, um, whatever whatever you'd like to do to be creative with it. Um, but I do want to show you where to go ahead and, and decorate. So I'm going to open my stamp pad up here and have some red. And what I am going to do is I am going to take a look at my shape here. And when I assemble these pieces, this outside square on each side is going to be covered. So what areas I need to decorate is actually these inside folded areas on each side the side with a fold, and then when you open it up, all of this is going to be visible. So one full side plus the little valleys in our folds here, the sides with the, with the fold. So I'm going to open my page up, and for today I'm going to just put a heart in each corner. I'm going to make all of my pages the same, but you certainly don't have to. Um, the sky's the limit, really. Um, on the back side, I'm just going to spend my time on the pages that have the fold down the center. I don't need to worry about the other ones because those, as I said before, are going to be covered and we won't end up seeing them. So I've stamped all of my pages. So I am going to make all six of mine the same. Um, that is just what I'm choosing to do. Um, it, this book will be lovely no matter what you do. Every page could be different. Um, but for this particular project, I decided to go ahead and make, make them all the same. All of my pieces are decorated and ready to assemble. What we're going to need is our cover, pieces of ribbon, bead, glue stick, in our six pages. And I'm going to set them all aside except for two. And we'll just start start by assembling them one at a time. So I'm going to get my glue stick out and gluing. Um, you want to be careful not to get too much glue um, around the edges. Um, you want to bring glue out there for sure, but you want to keep the majority of the glue in the center um, because if you have too much glue, what ends up happening is your um, your pages will end up sticking on the inside. Um, the number one thing that you need to remember when doing this is you have to pay attention to which side your you're gluing up, making sure that you're aligning all of the folded points, which is this top one that all of the edges are folded off from. Um, make sure you put them all together. Um, all those points need to face in the same direction. So every single time you put one together, double check and make sure that those points are the same. So on one side, you should have the folded points. On the other side, you should have um, all of the open edges and folds. And when you put them together, it'll open up and look like this. Um, and we're gonna continue assembling all six of them together the same way. This book is a really fun book and once you kind of make one and get it, you know, get the process under your belt, there's a lot of room for creativity. Um, you can shape these petal, I mean sorry, these petals, these pages to different shapes. Um, you know, you start with a square but you could round them out and make them into petal shapes so it could look like a flower when you opened up the book or um, all sorts of things. Really the sky's the limit so um, that's one of the the funnest things about bookmaking is they can take all different shapes and forms. So now I have all my pages together and I'm going to open them up like this. 
and um, this is what it should look like, kind of an accordion sort of feeling. Um, and one thing you want to do is you want to go through and double check. So kind of go through and open every single one of them up like this. Because if you've got too much glue near the edge, um, they will stick together. So if you have a situation where they're sticking together, just gently pull, pull those edges apart. Um, maybe I'll have one here so I can show you. Pull them apart gently and um, what you're going to end up having to do is probably leave it open like this for it to dry. Um, I somehow managed to not get any glue um, on the edge so I didn't have any stuck together so um, I'm going to just move ahead without letting it dry. Um, but if you if you have stuck pages together, um, gently unstick them and then just let you know let that glue sit for 10 minutes or so and come back and glue the covers on after. Um, and when you when you let it sit, leave it open like this so everything is open and um, drying without touching anything. And then you won't have to worry about anything sticking back together again once you've pulled it apart. So now I'm going to get my covers, and what you need to do is decide which. Um, which side you want up. Um, we're going to have the um, ribbon pointing out of one of the corners, so you have to decide which corner you want that ribbon pointing out of. And I think I like um, this little guy um, to be pointing sort of like that as up. So I'm going to put that point facing me. Not right. And this one, um, well, at this point, it doesn't really matter. So I'll just I'll just pick a side and. Um, have them facing me, and what I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue in there. A little bit of glue here, and I'm going to just take about a half an inch, to three quarters of an inch down, and push it down onto um, the book. And then um, that's really all you need to do for those ribbons. They're they're um, gonna stick good enough and we're gonna put this paper on top you know these book ends on top of that and sandwich them between that and the cover so there's gonna be plenty of um, plenty of glue once it dries to hold them in there really well um, so I'm putting glue in the center of the book and I want to make sure that um, this is a very important part when you are gluing this together again take note of where your points are and you want your points to be facing the opposite side of where your ribbon is coming out. And this is really important because your ribbon is going to play a role in keeping your book open. So when it opens, it needs to um, be able to open out, like the ribbon needs to be pulled away from each other. So um, make sure all your folded edges, which is the center of your book, um, are facing the opposite way. So I'm gonna face all of my open edge pieces, my raw edges down and my point the opposite way. So I'll hold this up so you can see it really well. I'm gonna push it down on my cover and then just so you can see to make sure you understand, um, you can see the point where my ribbon is, is the point where the book opens. Um, all these edges are showing. And I'm gonna come in here with my finger and just push down this page that's actually sealed to um, sealed to the book and then I'm going to come back and close it back up and um, just make sure that's when you're putting those covers down that that's what's happening and then I'm going to put glue on this back side there we go and I'm just going to flip my cover over and this time I'm aligning that ribbon up with the other ribbon so just make sure they point out in the same direction. Um, that ribbon, it does two things. Um, it's going to act as if you want to use this as an ornament or to hang it in a window or something like that. It's going to act as the, the tie to hang it with. It's also going to act um, keeping the book shut as well as the book open. So um, after this dries, um, I'll put this bead through the ribbon and I'll just give it a tie. Here is our finished book. See, I have this bead all the way up to the book. It keeps it closed. It's a hanger here to hang it with. Um, I have my little tag on one side, friend on the other. And to open the book, you just push the bead up to the knot, pull the ribbon apart all the way, 
and then you bring it back around and you take the bead and you just cinch it right up to the book again and that will hold it open and it can be hung.